is rather than adding, when we added two vectors, what we got? We got a new vector, right? We got what we call the resultant vector. When we subtracted, we got a vector. Well, now there's going to be a new operation that we're going to do with two vectors, but it's not going to produce a vector. It's actually going to produce a scalar. And we're not going to talk too much about it today. But next class, we're going to talk about more how we're going to use that, vector, how we're going to use that scalar. So what, I'm going to, what we're going to do now is what we call the dot product. Okay, so the dot product looks very, very similar to like a multiplication symbol, but I need you guys to understand that this is going to be, when I ask for this dot, you're going to see the symbol of a larger dot than a dot for multiplication. You're going to apply the dot product. And what the dot product says, if I'm going to say the dot product of u and v, that is going to equal u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. Okay? That's it? Yeah, that was it. Dude, that's a hard problem. So let's go through an example. How does that sound?